like to see how it's not grabbing very well. Because it's like new. No, I think it's pretty good. It's been So this is our um feel our puff pastry, <laughs> whatever this stuff is. And now it's nice and soft, but it's still cold. If you leave this out too long, you end up stretching it too much. So what we're gonna need is um, like a hamburger spatula in order to move it around so that we aren't touching it too much with our hands and then stretching that, okay? And then we wanna mark it. Now the edges are all pretty straight, so. So the best thing to do, let's say we're going to make it two and a half inches. Okay, so we're going to mark it there. Now I use the straight edge of my knife to do that, just to mark it. So then I'm going two and a half, and then five. Okay. I'm just going to do one of these sheets and you guys can do the rest. So that should work out perfect. And then you can use, if you're not confident in cutting a straight line, I have enough of that line there right now to take my knife and cut it all the way down. Okay? Line it up right there. Cut it all the way down. <coughs> So this, you can see this is where that tool comes in handy. But it's critical you get a straight cut for it to look really nice. Otherwise, if you're just kind of like eyeballing and you're not good at this, this is worth the, whatever, 50 cents to get one of these guys. And even cut it smaller if it's too big for you to use it. Okay, then, because I'm working on the corner here, it's easy. Otherwise, I would just turn my... Um, she can make sure our edges are nice and straight. And then because we want it a nice square, we're gonna have to cut two and a half going this way, right? Otherwise, we're not gonna have to work Very many times you'll start doing this and you'll end up with rectangles and you're like, hmm, that doesn't work. So we're going to end up trimming the edge off the back, because we're a half an inch off. So as long as we're all set here, line that up. Now, the colder this is, the better, and then we won't even get that. Yes, so what I'm going to do now is bring it back like this instead, because it is a little warmer than Puff pastry is one of those things that very much like regular dough too, if you are making it from scratch and you're rolling it out, then you have to let it rest every time you handle it. Whereas this, it's already frozen rolled out, so I don't need to let it rest. I can just cut it, put it on here, and bake it off, okay? Then what I want to do is instead of... So we just want to get in here, separate these. You see I'm handling it very little with my fingers. I'm not pulling it because when I pull it then I'm going to start doing that. And then you don't get that nice straight edge. Okay? Give it a little space in between. So you can probably do five across that way. And then what we will do is we will put it in the oven for a couple minutes. It's going to start to puff. And then we're going to take a tool and we're going to in make an indentation. And we're also going to take the frangipan and then pipe it in the center there. Okay? And then we will um, bake it fully and then put the pear on it. This is going to be a kind of a rustic tart dessert. It's not going to be absolutely perfect like we have in a mold. All right? So get as many as you can on here. 